Hello Code Crafters, welcome to another video. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a beautiful text field with a rounded border, along with leading and trailing icons. And we can use this icon for setting the visibility of our password. So let's dive into the tutorial. And if you wanna follow the written tutorial or you want the code, then you can find the link in the description and in pin. Comment also. I already have a default project open containing an app bar and a centered text widget. I've also opened up my emulator, and if we run the program, you can see a centered text saying hello world on the screen. Now, let's remove this text widget and create a text form field. Firstly, add a decoration parameter, and within it, use the input decoration class. Remove the const field from here. Inside the input decoration, we'll use a prefix icon for which we'll add the prefix icon parameter and assign it an icon. In this case, I'm using a lock icon as we are creating a password field. For the suffix icon, we need to use the suffix icon parameter of the input decoration class. I'm using a visibility icon because users can tap it to toggle the visibility of the password. Now, let's add a hint text so users know what to enter. For the hint, I'm using password and for styling the hint text, we can use hint style. Set the hint style parameter with the text style class. Inside it, set the color property to the hash code of gray and the font size to 16. Now, if you run the program, you'll see a lock icon at the start of the text form field and a visibility icon at the end. Let's give both icons a gray color. Feel free to change the colors according to your preference. If you wanna remove the border of the text form field, use the border parameter of the input decoration and assign it input border none. Now, the text form field has no border. Wrap the text form field inside a container, setting its width to double infinite so that it covers the entire available width of the screen. Add a decoration parameter and use the box decoration class. Add. Mentioned at the beginning of the video, we want to create a rounded border. Set the border radius's property to border radius, all with a value of 10 for rounded corners. To give the border color, use the border parameter of the box decoration class and set the color property using border side. Also add const above here to prevent errors. Save the code and run the application. Now you can see our text field is wrapped inside a rounded border. Now we have our text form field inside the rounded border. Add some padding to the text field using the padding parameter. I'm setting the horizontal padding to 10 so that there's some space from the side corners of the screen. Save the program. Oh, wait. To create an outer gap, we need to use the margin parameter. Now you can see the gap around the text field from the side. Moving on, let's introduce a parameter is password visible to track whether the password is visible or not. The default value is false, indicating that the password is initially not visible. Here, I'm creating another variable named password icon, and I'm using the visibility off icon as the default icon because initially the password is not visible to users. Now, let's come down here and remove the icon parameter. Before doing that, make sure to copy the color of our icon. Replace the icon with an icon button. Use the password icon for the icon and initially leave the onPress method empty. Inside the onPress method, use setState because we wanna change the icon and toggle the password visibility. For the isPassword visible variable, set its value to the reverse of its current value. This means if it was false, it will become true and vice versa. Because our toggle button have only this single task to mark a variable true if it is false or vice versa. Now, for the icon parameter of the icon button, check if the password is visible or not. If it's false, display the visibility off icon. If it's true, display the visibility icon. Use the obscure text parameter with the value of his password visible to toggle the visibility of the password. If his password visible is true, then we need to make obsecure text property is false so it can show the password or, or if it is false, then it can hide the password. Run the program one last time. And now, whenever you tap on the password visibility icon, the password will toggle between visible and not visible. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share it with your fellow coders. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.